study God's word. Please get your Bible and also get your manual. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus. As we're about to listen to your word, minister to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In a school, they needed to give a child scholarship, just one child. So the teacher came up with a plan. She told her students that she was stepping out for a few minutes and that they should all sit back and do their classwork. And she told them no noise, no scattering of the class. She nodded and she stepped out. Unknowing to them, the teacher was peeping so immediately she stepped out. The students jumped up from their seat. They were making noise, gesting, laughing, scattering the whole class. But there was this one boy, just this one boy, who sat back and was doing his homework just as the teacher instructed. And the teacher came back to the class. Of course, they sat back and did as if they were well behaved all this while. And the teacher told them the plan. She told them that it was just all a plan. And she announced who the scholarship was rewarded to. And we all know it was that boy who sat back and did as instructed. This brings us to our topic for today. The outstanding boys. Our text is Daniel 1. 1 to 21. Daniel 1, 1 to 21. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. Then the king commanded Ashpenaz, his chief eunuchs, to bring some of the people of Israel, both of the royal family and of the nobility. Among these were Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, the tribe of Judah. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's rich food or with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs. At the end of 10 days, it was seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the king's rich food. At the end of the time, when the king had commanded that they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king spoke with them, and among them none was like Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore they stood before the king. And in every matter of wisdom and understanding concerning which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters that were in all his kingdom. And Daniel continued until the first year of King Cyrus. Remember, our topic is the outstanding boys. The passage of the Bible we read was the story of Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But we all know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they were brought into the king's palace with the other youths, they came to the palace being conscious of who they were and they refused 
to defile themselves with the king's rich food. Which brings us to our lesson number one. Our lesson number one is stand out. As children of God, stand out. Always propose in your heart that no matter what, you will never join in doing anything wrong. Always have it at the back of your mind. So for instance, let's assume you get to a new environment or a new school and you see that the norm and the trend in that school is for them to be snobbish, is for them to be disrespectful to their teachers, is for them to be indecently dressed. Children, propose in your heart not to join them. Be that child who always stands out. Our lesson number two is continue to be outstanding. Standing out is not a day job. It is something you do repeatedly, continuously. It is something that you are known for. So in closing, our topic again for today is the outstanding boys. And it's the story of Daniel and the three evil boys, how they stood out from the crowd. So anytime you are thinking, you are contemplating whether to be outstanding, whether to take a stand for Jesus, and you don't know, always remember to sing this song. I will never bow down to pressure, to pressure. I will always stand out for Jesus, for Jesus. Children, never bow down to pressure. Always take a stand for Jesus Christ. Let's go to our memory verse. Our memory verse is Daniel 1.8. Daniel 1.8. But Daniel resolved that he will not defile himself with the king's rich food or with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. Again, memory verse, Daniel 1, 8. But Daniel resolved in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's rich food or with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the study of today. Father, we pray for the grace to always make a stand for you in the name of Jesus. Help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So, children, as you go this week, always remember that wrong is wrong even when everyone is doing it. Never bow down to pressure. Always stand out. God bless you. I love you. Bye.